Hello, welcome back to our course, Engineering Design for a Circular Economy. This week, we will be looking at design for recycling. As we've already seen, recycling is the fourth and last loop in the circular economy diagram. When we recycle a product, we must break it down into its basic raw materials. Not only do we destroy the energy and value that were put there in the product, but we also need to invest new energy and resources into the recycling process. And then invest some more if we want to transform these recycled materials back into a new product. For this reason, whilst recycling is definitely better than disposing of our products as waste in incineration or a landfill, we should try to use recycling as the final option. Reuse, repair, or remanufacturing are generally better alternatives as they retain the materials embedded energy and value of our existing products. With this in mind, we can design our products in such a way when the time comes to disassemble and recycle them, we can do so in a way that is most effective and economical as possible. How to do this will be the topic of this week. Armin Lohringal, professor at TU Klausthal's Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, will take you through the processes behind design for recycling. <laughs> 